Good afternoon, good evening, people, world. Today it is Friday, and uh, yeah, got Project Crack Pipe sitting on the frame. Got some stuff. Bought a. They sell this big container at Walmart. Anyway, I cut the top off. It was. It was a sealed dealy bob but I cut the top off because I gotta change the oil in the fourth gen because why not it's probably been like 3,000 miles anyway so I'm gonna be all over the place on this video um but mainly it's gonna be my pot belly stove build and I think I might put that right there the pot belly stove there because there should be enough room for it to go here and then I already have a hole in the ceiling up there to run it out but for right now I'm just gonna build it and it'll be out there so anyway yeah I got steel uh, it's a four foot by eight foot sheet cut down or sheared down into two foot by eight foot so I got two of those and then I got some 18 gauge steel the same for the, uh, what do you call those things, uh, tubs, uh, tubs, yeah, tubs. I did build this, I uh, made this, this is a uh, drywall mud thing where they hold it like this, basically they hold it like this. And they stick mud on here or whatever it's called for tape and texture for mudding, drywall crap. And uh, yeah, I ended up finding this for 12 bucks. Put it on, cut it all, cut all these weird little notches and I think it's too flimsy. So while I was at the steel shop, I bought some 3 16 plate aluminum this was pretty expensive but it was really cheap because it was remnant cut so I paid 22 bucks for this whole sheet it is just a little bit less than four feet um yeah a little bit less than four feet by 12 inches I want to say I think it's 12 inches and I bought some angle iron one inch by one inch for inside the bed Cause I want to get this bed out of my garage. I want to get this stuff done. Project crack pipe. I got to get it ground down. I got to cut some stuff. Do some arches. Do some stuff. But I'll get to that. But this video is going to be about this. So yeah. So basically. Um, I'm going to take. That one's going to stay like that. This one's going to flip over. I got some one inch bolts. I'll put four one inch bolts in there um, to hold it. That's just gonna be the base. And then I'm gonna take some, um, I don't know where it's at, oh, right here. I'm gonna take some of this. It's like a half inch round. And I basically gotta build a little, grill in here to hold the firewood um i will have to cut a hole in this piece here to make it kind of like a tray so it's going to be there 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 so this way i could slide it out and clean it um but yeah i didn't buy that many bolts 10 10 bolts i only bought like six and i think i'm only going to use four in there just because it was expensive. I paid $43 just for these bolts. Just for some grade five one inch bolts, washers, nuts. So it was 40 something bucks for this junk. So, and yeah, and then that, this little thing for the, this thing here, that was 12 bucks in my receipt. $12. Thought it was pretty cool. Thought it would work. But, ouch. Stupid steel. Put that there. 
anyway, it's too weak, and I think what I want to do is instead of running this like this, I think what I want to do is I want to run it kind of like this so that it's supported. Uh, oh, that's another video anyway. I'll do a new video for that um, when I make that. But for now, I'll be using it to cut this uh, rod. And I'll show that too. So anyway, I just took a wire, wire wheel, wire wheeled these two so that I can flip them over and uh, bolt them together. So I'm gonna get you guys up on a tripod over there um yeah so anyway let me uh do that get you guys set up you guys can watch from afar and uh yeah we'll go from there so oh, it's a mess that's why i need to get this i need to get this bed out of here um so anyway let me set you guys up you guys get to see what i'm doing because i'm gonna have to weld oh i guess i didn't finish I'm gonna have to weld that one so this one's gonna be this one's gonna be sitting like that and I'm gonna have to weld put this one on here and I'm gonna have to weld it I'll probably just stick weld it um I'm gonna have to go all the way around it stick weld all the way around it and then I'm gonna take a piece of this steel here and I'll make a top uh, like a cap with a hole for the pipe for the flue um, but anyway, so, that's the plan, you guys can watch, you guys can see what I'm doing. Don't know if it'll all get done today, but I'm gonna try. Alright, I'll be back.